Hello, today I will show you how to do the uh, typical foundation design and major. And you may already know there's uh, two tip typical types of foundation. The first one is so called the shallow foundation, and the second one is the deep foundation. You can say shallow foundation is most likely uh, the capacity is very less, except if the foundation is faster or more. Mostly in Hong Kong, uh, the shallow foundation will be wasted on soil. That means the capacity is not large. And the second one is the so-called deep foundation. And the capacity may be larger than the shallow foundation. And show you some typical design programs. The first one, before we start the construction, the first one, we need to do the ground investigation to investigate the depth of the piling and to see what is the soil uh, statums, whether there's a, a what is the level of the rock levels, and sometimes to see any uh, special things happens on site. After that, we receive the ground investigation. We can do the design work, okay? And then this is a typical one. After we receive the consent from the departments, we do the child piles and start the construction. And this is a very typical. Uh, this assumption for the end bank uh, piles in Hong Kong, most likely we assume the end bank and the friction force be below the rock head. And another type we call the friction power. This power may not be uh, rested on the back wall. And sometimes you can imagine this is a different edge power. And then you can see the design of the foundation. The first one, you can do the ground investigations to see any compressed uh, ground condition and after that you can you need to understand what is the loading of your building for example it's a one or two story the loading is less you can consider the strip footing and if the loading is very heavy you can consider the power foundation okay and then you also need to understand the adjacent buildings sometimes we need to understand the what is the level of the adjacent buildings and to make sure they are not affected during construction and also you also need to understand uh, for the site constraint if the construction site is very small you need to consider maybe the mini powers rather than the large diameter ball power and I show you some of the typical uh, capacity of the different types of foundation for example if you can imagine the mini powers the size is only very small up to 300 and the capacity is due to four or up to five numbers of steam enforcement. The capacity is only up to two thousands, but for the large diameter ball power, the capacity may be larger than eighty thousands kilonewton. But you can see this is a very expensive and also require large working area. Okay, and some location of the powers you need to pay particular particular attention for example if this is a near the slope you need to make sure there's a for the foundation design will not be affected will not affect the existing slope and then sometimes uh, there's another for the long area you they will see some of the uh, problems I will show you later for example the mountain sun you can see the marbles this mean that there's a maybe some gravity we call this void between the foundation okay and then this is a lantern sometimes the water level is very deep due to the uh, weathering of the wall and this is some of the example you can see some of the marble uh, this is a, a drilling records you can see the marbles in here sometimes you can see some walls in between this means you cannot take the uh, core sample from below the ground in certain step and this is a so called some typical assumptions most likely we will use the typical wavy wall in Hong Kong uh, we can assume this is typically 5000 kPa per uh, per meter square and some of the bonding assumptions and the first one you do the one investigation after that you can pull out the one profile and you can see this is a deeper location and also to see the what head level 
and I show you how to uh, start the very beginning of the how that you can design the footing or the power foundation. For example, you have a 40 story building, just assume 20 kPa is a uh, uh, per four loading, and then you multiple is a uh, 40 story is uh, more than 800. Most likely, the footing is up to 200 kPa if there's a low volume in here. You need to consider the uh, settlement and capacity. Most likely, you cannot uh, do the uh, foundation design or footing. And then you need to choose the power foundation. And roughly speaking, for the footprint is uh, 30 times 30. You can estimate the total load is something like this and just divide the number of the capacity of here. You can roughly speaking, the foundation at least need 230 pounds for the GFNH power. For this assumption, I am not yet considered the win at the very beginning, but it seems it is feasible. And then another option is uh, assume this is a uh, uh, rested on the 1.5 meter ball power, and then you can see this. This is a uh, 82 numbers of uh, ball power is good enough for this construction size. Okay, thank you. Bye.